And we're gonna be talking about the basics, the fundamentals of the ATM business. And then I'm gonna go shoot straight into the sales portion. Okay, guys, we got about a good 45 minutes here. I'm gonna keep it nice and sweet so you guys get all the bread and butter. And then you guys can go ahead, go out there, make some sales and profit more in your current ATM business. Or if you want to start the ATM business, it is a phenomenal time to do it. At the end of the day, you guys want to go ahead and take advantage of that, okay? How are you guys doing today? This is Paul Alex from ATMtogether.com. We do our weekly live trainings inside of here, ATM Business for Beginners. I'm trying a little, a little something new today, okay, guys? Um, I actually have the mic almost like uh, like a direct mic so you guys don't visually see it and you guys can see the whole picture over here. Hopefully the new Wi-Fi that I'm working over here, I mean, sometimes it doesn't work, guys. I'm on the 44th floor uh, <laughs> on top of my, basically my entire building. So the Wi-Fi is a little sketch. We try to switch it to Google Fiber instead of using uh, what we use out here in San Diego Cox. But at the end of the day, what we're gonna be talking about on this one, guys, uh, we're gonna be talking about sales in the ATM business. We're gonna show you how uh, we implemented a couple of strategies that helped us get to seven figures in the ATM industry. But before we get started, guys, if this is your first live, go ahead and comment below, show us some love. Uh, it also helps with the algorithm inside of our Facebook group. It helps us actually grow. This is exactly why we've been able to grow to 15,000 members within one year, guys. The largest ATM niche uh, Facebook group on the internet right now. Uh, very, very thankful, guys. A lot of gratitude to you guys. You guys are phenomenal. So with that being said, go ahead, drop a comment down below. What state you guys are from? Who do you guys think will be going and winning the Super Bowl? I got my money on the Niners. I mean, I'm, I'm originally from San Francisco, guys. And at the end of the day, I got I to gotta root for my team. So uh, put down in the comments below your favorite football team. Say hi. If this is your first live, go ahead and comment live. If you are watching the replay of this video tomorrow morning, you know we're going to shoot it out to all you guys. We love you guys. At the end of the day, we are happy that you guys are members members inside of the ATM Business for Beginners Facebook group. And my guys, my team, they're actually going to be going ahead and uh, checking the comments for you guys. So if you guys need a free guide, a mini course, just a consultant, um, anyone in the ATM industry from our team, atmtogether.com, that um, we're basically the consultants in this group, then please feel free to ask and we'll be more than happy to answer the questions, okay? So just to give you a short overview of what we're gonna be talking about inside of this training today, um, we're gonna be talking about the basics, the fundamentals of the ATM business. And then I'm gonna go shoot straight into the sales portion, okay guys? We got about a good 45 minutes here. I'm gonna keep it nice and sweet so you guys get all the bread and butter and then you guys can go ahead, go out there, make some sales and profit more in your current ATM business, or if you want to start the ATM business in 2022, it is a phenomenal time to do it. Trust me, guys, especially with the big scare of crypto right now, people are doubting cashless society now. They're like, hmm, it just dropped about more than 50%. At the end of the day, you guys want to go ahead and take advantage of that, okay? So let's go ahead and start with the basics. And here we go. All right, cool, guys. So let's talk about ETM business uh, for beginners. And let me make sure I got the right marker, guys. And let me make sure this camera go ahead and just stops real quick. All right. So you guys can go ahead and just focus on what I got going on. Okay, here we go. All right, guys. So as far as the ETM uh, fundamentals, okay, let's go ahead and break it down for you on this whiteboard that I have right here. It's gonna be a lot clearer than what I used to have back in the past. I was using a, a white uh, paper board and trust me, no one was able to see anything I was doing in camera. But with this one, this one's gonna be pretty good uh, for your view and uh, pleasure. So let's talk about the four fundamentals guys, okay? We're gonna be talking about your LLC. We're gonna be talking about the bank account. We're gonna be talking about processing. All right, and then let's talk about the location. Now, for all my veterans out there, I know that you guys have seen this already. You guys have been through this already, 
But remember, this is the ETM business for beginners. This is a beginner's niche group. So at the end of the day, we have to break down the basics for our beginners, okay? With that being said, I'm gonna go into sales, which is gonna be a little bit more advanced. If you guys, let's say are an introvert or you're scared of selling, trust me, it is not that difficult. It is not that difficult. And guess what? You wanna make the most money in 2022? You learn how to sell and trust me, it's gonna completely change your life, guys. All right, so let's start with the LLC. LLC, you have two different options, guys. You have your uh, limited liability company. Uh, reason why a lot of people like getting the LLC to begin with. It is very easy to set up. And then two, it's in a balloon coverage for your actual company. So let's say if something was to happen, guys, okay? Let's say that you were to get sued, okay? Because somebody decided to fall um, over your ATM at the store, okay? And you know how it is right now in the United States. Everybody wants to sue everybody for any little thing. So let's say they try to sue you. Guess what? Your personal liabilities are now at risk at court if you don't have an LLC. Now, if you go with sole proprietorship, yes, it is a lot easier than filing your LLC. But at the end of the day, guys, you do not have that liability coverage. This is why we always recommend get the LLC. Spend the couple hundred dollars, guys. You guys are investing in yourself anyways. You might as well go ahead and spend the extra money. So I always recommend going with the LLC. Make sure that you guys use an expedited website or third-party service in order to do this. I'm talking about speed. Success loves speed, guys. So the faster you're able to get up your LLC, the faster you're able to get your business bank account, the faster you're able to order your ATM, and then the faster you're able to start your ATM business for 2022, okay? So um, one of the websites that we like to recommend, guys, inkfile.com. That's going to be I-N-C-F-I-L-E.com. At the end of the day, we do not get a affiliate link or affiliate commission off of this. We simply just want to help you guys out. So we go ahead and we refer everyone to this website because they have a actual uh, time frame. They have a time frame that they will actually get your LLC for you, which is under five days. It's remarkable. At the end of the day, yes. Filing your LLC is extremely simple. You can do it in your state. Um, let's say California, for example, where I'm based out of, guys. I could do it in my state, but they don't guarantee me when I'm going to get the LLC within five days, okay? I like the guarantee. I like guarantees. Who doesn't, right? Just like when people use our location finder services. The reason why people love using our company is because we have a guarantee on the location. So at the end of the day, right? They don't have to worry about anything. Why? Because our team is doing the work and we're working hard for you. All right. So go to inkfile.com, file your LLC if you haven't already. It's 2022. If you already said on New Year's Eve with your family, your friends, hey, 2022 is going to be my year. All right. How many of you guys said that? If 2022 is going to be your year, go ahead and comment below. 2022 guys let me know let me know who's listening to me right now let me know who's serious about making a change in their life in 2022 all right we're already going to the second month of this year valentine's day all the holidays are coming up spring bakes coming up summertime's coming up and then guess what happens after summer the holidays again yes life goes like this guys okay so make sure that you guys do the change today. It's never going to be a perfect time. All right. So after you guys get your LLC set up, inkfile.com, make sure you guys go to irs.gov for your free EIN. Do not pay anyone to do your EIN, guys, because if you do, more than likely, they're going to charge you around $100. It's absolutely for free. You can do it Monday through Friday at irs.gov. Okay, guys, that's a little golden nugget from me to you guys, all right? So let's go ahead and cross off that LLC. Now you guys are gonna be able to do this. Now, if you need a step-by-step, -step, guys, trust me, I got your back, all right? My boy, Jonas, he actually did a step-by-step, -step, all right, inside of this group. We did a training video, step-by-step -step on how to do the LLC on Inc. file, guys. So if you guys need that help, you guys need the help from my team. Go ahead. It's absolutely free. Look under guides in this section. Okay, guys? 
Let's talk about the bank. The bank, guys, okay? With the bank, this is very important. You might be thinking, especially if you're not used to the ATM business, Paul, what are you talking about the bank, man? The bank is super simple. I already got a bank account. I already have this type of business or I've done real estate or I've done credit repair or I've done vending machines. I have done the whole enchilada, right? And I've been able to get a business bank account with not a problem. Well, I'm going to tell you this right now. ATM business is very, very different. And the reason why it's different is because simply it's a high-risk business. We are direct competitors with the banks. So the banks do not want to help independent contractors like us succeed in the ATM industry. We are direct competition. We are taking a lot of their clients. And at the end of the day, we are actually reversing what they're doing, which is they're basically making money off of our money. But at the end of the day, if you know the game, now you can get into the game. And this is the game, guys. So you want to get good in the game? Make sure you're running notes because if you're not, trust me, this is going to actually, I saw a post right before I started this live, uh, a gentleman posted, I'm ready to uh, learn, but it was like L hyphen and then earn. I love that. I love that. I'm going to, I'm going to use that in one of my motivational posts uh, sometime this week. Watch. But what I'm telling you guys is you guys need to make sure that you guys get into the game, get your head in the game, make sure you're fired up to start this business, because at the end of the day, you're the only one that's going to be changing the narrative for you and your family and no one else. Trust me, no one else is going to come to save you. No one else is going to go ahead and pay for your bills. No one else is going to help you succeed in what you want to do for your dreams, which is financial freedom. And if you say you don't, you're not ready for financial freedom or you don't want financial freedom, you are lying to yourself. All right, guys, so with the bank, a couple things you guys want to make sure. You guys want to make sure that you're going to be working with the processing company. Now, this goes hand in hand, guys, so I'm going to go back and forth a little bit, all right? And the reason why I say this is because back in 2020, 2021, when we initially started helping folks just like you, just like me, um, you didn't need a processing agreement. You didn't need a process agreement. A process agreement is basically an agreement between you and the company that provides you the network for your ATM, okay? And if you're confused about this, just think about your cell phone, okay? Cell phone, you buy a brand new iPhone, which is what, $1,300 right now? And then you need Verizon or AT&T to operate that phone, right? So with that same thing with the ATM, you've spent about $2,200, and I think now it's around $2,300 for the ATM, you're gonna need the processing, which is the network. You need the network, otherwise the machine, the ATM is just a machine, okay? So with that being said, you're going to go ahead, make sure you find a good processing company, which I'm going to get into a little bit on how to do that, and then exactly um, what to look for, okay? Because not every processing company is going to help you out like we do, okay? And once you get the processing agreement from the actual company, you're going to be able to go ahead and open a bank account. Now, it might not be the first time. It might, be, it might not be the second time. It might not be the third time. It might not even be the 10th time that you get a bank that says, yes, we will allow you to open a bank account. And the reason why I tell you that is because this is the reason why, all right, with my clients, I have my sales team go ahead and find the banks for them, okay, because we cover nationwide, all right? Even though I'm based in California, my team's international. So at the end of the day, when my client signs up for our services, whether they get ATMs, location finder services, anything from us, okay, we make sure that we help them out with their foundation, which is the LLC and the bank account. So with that being said, make sure you don't give up because this, you need these. You need these in order to get to your processing and to even buy an ATM, okay? Most companies, most reliable companies like us, we will not even ship out your ATM unless you have your bank account already approved and you have documentation with your name on it stating that you are approved for that account and that is your actual business entity, guys, okay? So at the end of the day, make sure you guys prepare yourselves, make sure that you guys go ahead and do your due diligence and homework before you get into this business, okay? This is just from one entrepreneur to the other guys, okay? So that's gonna be your business bank account. When you go in there, it's just a simple one-liner, guys. The simple one-liner is just simply gonna say, hello, Mr. or Mrs. Banker, 
I'm coming in here because I want to open a business checking account for my ATM business. I need to collect the commissions coming from my ATM. And that is it, guys. Trust me, it has worked hundreds of times. It's proven. I've used it several times. When I first started, I got shut down by two banks, guys. Chase and Wells Fargo. Nothing against them. I still use them for my personal accounts. But at the end of the day, they shut me down because a lot of the banks now have compliance departments. So why do they shut down ATM accounts? They shut them down because of too many transactions. When you have too many transactions going into the account, guess what? You get red flagged. You get red flagged, bye-bye to your account. They send you a letter saying, hey, your account's been flagged. It might be doing money laundering. We don't know, we're not gonna take the risk. So at the end of the day, they go ahead and they shut you down. And now you might be up and running from one to possibly six locations. And guess what? Now you are stressing. Now your entire business, your livelihood is on the line. So don't take the risk. Do this the right way, guys. Educate yourself, due diligence. Make sure that you guys have everything squared away before you guys get started, okay? All right, so now we talked about the bank. Let's jump into processing, guys. And processing is very important, okay? I can talk about so many different things about the ATM business, but at the end of the day, guys, I'm gonna tell you this right now, okay? These are your four fundamentals, okay? These are the most important aspects of your business, okay? Without these two things, your business is going to crumble, all right? It's like not having the right foundation when you remodel your home, okay? You have to make sure you have the right foundation, guys. All right, guys. So if you guys love this training so far, go ahead and comment ATM below. Pump up the algorithm. Help me out, guys. Help out ATM Business for Beginners. It attracts more members to uh, to make our community a lot bigger drop etm down below in the comments if you love this training if you guys find it informative i'm going to be bringing in more things more things on subjects that you guys want to learn ultimately to help you guys out okay so processing like i said this is the network that you need in order to facilitate the actual transactions between the atm and the banking network without processing your machine is just a machine, okay? So how do you make money in the ATM business, all right? The way you make money on the ATM business, guys, and I'm just gonna move this camera real quick, is your surcharge. Sorry for the crappy handwriting, guys. Fee. Now, the average fee that you guys are going to see in the across the United States, average is going to be three dollars. All right, guys. So you lend people your money. You're putting money inside of your own ATM, and you're letting numerous amount of people withdraw cash from your actual machine. When they withdraw cash, guess what? They get charged three dollars. So technically. If you do get an ATM business or you're in the ATM business, a running joke that I like to tell my family and friends is I actually sell your cash back. And that's how I make my money. And a lot of people, they're like, what? What do you mean? I thought the banks owned all this. No, independent contractors, entrepreneurs, serial entrepreneurs, people that want to make their money work for them do this. Okay. It's been a hidden gem for years, guys for years, but we are finally shining some light on it on social media. We're using the great platform of the internet to show folks just like you and I how to do this type of business, okay? So with that, processing comes into play where majority of companies, they will charge you to actually use their network, okay? Which makes sense. How else are they supposed to make money, right? So with that, our company, for example, okay, I'm going to compare apples to apples or apples to oranges. Um, and I'm going to say my company will not charge you for this, okay? Now, that doesn't happen quite often, okay? We have a special program, which I'm going to talk to you guys at the very end, all right? But with processing, 
We don't charge you for the actual service. We provide it to you for free. What does that mean? That means that you get to keep all of this, the $3. Now, the owner who allows you to put the ATM in the store, there's a possibility, all right, guys, that they might want a percentage, okay? And that percentage can range, all right? That can range anywhere between 25 cents up to half, so I would put $1.50. Possibly more, depending on the deal. There's tons of variables that will go into that, okay? And this is gonna be called the owner's interest, all right? All right, guys, so with that processing, we're not gonna charge you anything. The other thing you guys want to uh, make sure that you guys have is no, no contract when you guys get the network from the actual company, okay? And the reason why, let me tell you a short story. When I first started five years ago, okay, when I went from one to 30 locations, yes, 30 locations in the San Francisco Bay Area where I'm originally from, all right, currently in San Diego now. Um, I went and did that within 18 months, by the way. So that's a little bit over a year and a half. All my days off, all my weekend, I even took two weeks off, paid vacation to go and work. Threw on an old suit and hit doors, door knocking with my brochure. At the end of the day, you guys are determining what your destiny is, what you guys are trying to do in life, what do you want, guys want to be at. Okay, if you guys are not happy with something, then change it. If it's in your control, change it. Don't be a victim, okay? No one's a victim. At the end of the day, you gotta be your own hero and pull yourself out of there, okay? So with that, make sure two things with the processing company, guys, because we gotta go into the location right now. Processing, make sure that you keep you keep 100% of your surcharge. And then two, that they, they do not lock you down on a contract. The best advice I could give you guys from entrepreneur to entrepreneur is the simple fact that make sure you go with one company, okay, that is going to sell you the ATM and is going to provide you the processing. If they can provide you a one-stop shop, by all means, go with that company, okay, guys? All right, let's talk about the bread and butter. Location, location, location. I love talking about locations and the reason why this means everything in the atm business without the location without having uh the proper knowledge on how to qualify the location you basically will either make or break your business and this is one of the reasons why the company that i built last year atm together.com you could say we're doing pretty decent in the atm industry industry okay and the reason why is because we help primarily a lot of folks with their locations. So a couple of suggestions with this. First thing you gotta think about is when you walk into any location, okay? You wanna think about, okay, what is the need for cash? If you are struggling when finding that need for cash, more than likely, okay, it's not gonna be a great location for your ATM business. But let's say you're out with the family, okay? or with, with, with uh, your lady or your man or, or your friends, okay? And you go into a fair or you're going to a bar or you're going to a lounge or you're going into, um, let's say a liquor store that offers lottery tickets. Just like here in California, they're only allowed to sell lottery tickets for cash, okay? So that's why ATMs do extremely well in California. So with that, guys, that's the way you guys got to think about it. You got to think about, okay, I'm going into this location. What is going to be the need for cash? Because if I can't think of something within a minute, then probably it's not going to be the best idea. Now, a quick tip. You're going to want to see if they have an existing ATM. Because if they have an existing, uh, existing ATM, go educate yourself. What do I mean by that? Put in your debit card, see how much that ATM they're charging. Then check the surrounding area around that ATM. See if it's down for service. See if that component is possibly dirty. See if it needs service. Talk to the owner. You never know. I've had dozens and dozens, I wouldn't even say hundreds 
of potential clients that have come to us, okay? Because we talk to literally, I'm going to say about 30 to 40 uh, people throughout the United States every single day, Monday through Friday, guys, regarding this business, okay? So when we talk to these folks, a lot of people are like, Paul, or get them, or Hugh, I already got a location. I talked to the owner and they, they're willing to let me put my ETM inside of their store. The only thing that we caution anyone that does that, make sure that you ask what the volume of traffic going into the business on a daily basis is. That's number one. Number two, make sure that you ask what is the owner comfortable charging at that location, all right? And then three, have they ever had an ATM there before? And the reason why I tell you to ask these three, these are super important to the potential performance of your actual machine, okay? By asking this, you'll be able to do a quick equation, all right? <clears throat> Let me get the uh, little eraser right here. Okay, guys. And then we're going to go talk about a little bit of numbers and then we're going to talk about a little bit more about sales okay guys all right guys if you guys are pumped about learning about sales in the etm industry okay go ahead and comment sales down below in the comments i'm sure i'm going to make sure to sh share a couple of golden nuggets with you guys so you guys can go ahead and execute these strategies in your own etm business in the next couple of days or possibly even tonight Okay, depending on where you guys are at. So go ahead and comment sales, guys. Pump up that algorithm for me. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. All right, guys. So the reason why I tell you to go ahead and actually ask the owner about the volume. Why? Okay. Because we know in the industry that especially if, let's say you have a hot tamale, let's say you have a, a, a liquor store. And let's say you're in California and let's say that they sell lottery tickets that in itself is mwah, right. It's the best of the best. So for locations like that, we always estimate about three to 5% of the total amount of people going into the business are going to use the actual ATM. Okay. So let's say hundred people. Go in there per day. All right. Now, for everybody that's good at math, what is 5% of 100 people? Five, right? Okay. So, five transactions that's per day. <clears throat> All right. And let's say 30 days. And that's only if the store is going to be open every single day of that month, okay? You gotta, you gotta include or exclude weekends, okay? We have 150 transactions. All right? So that's a pre-estimate right there, okay? 150 transactions at $3, guys. And to be honest with you, I'm not, I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. In California, you can get away with $3.50 $3 to $4. So at the end of the day, it really depends on what you negotiate with the owner. If the owner is comfortable uh, setting the limit at uh, $3.50, then go ahead, okay? If it doesn't affect the traffic, then go ahead. This is business. Don't be scared to bump up the numbers, to play it, to test it. I do the same thing in my business with marketing. I do the same thing in my tangible ATM business. I have done the same thing in real estate. You know how many times my friends, my family members are like, you crazy, you buying right now when everybody's scared? Yeah, you know when people make the most money? They make the most money when there's blood on the streets. In business, that means when everyone is scared to do something and you do it and you execute and you come on top, guess what? You're gonna have everybody else saying, how did you do that? How did you know? It's business. You have to take an educated risk. All right, guys. Same thing with this. In the ATM business, this is why I love the ATM business. I love the ATM business because you can put an asset, which is your ATM, into any store. You can test it for a couple months. If it doesn't work out, guess what? 
Just move your ATM, move your ATM and make some more money. That's it. It's simple. Nothing to stress about guys. And this is why I love our automation program because at the end of the day, we guarantee the location. If it doesn't work out, just come back to us, talk to us. We're going to replace it absolutely for free guys. And I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk about that in just a little bit. Okay. I hope some of you guys are getting pumped right now because I'm pumped. I had a little bit of coffee. Okay. So <laughs> at 150 transactions guys at $3, all right. That's the potential. $450. All right. And for all my math boys out there, that is gross. All right. So that's not including your $5.99 um, recurring internet charge. Okay. That is not including um, the possible percentage that you might go ahead and actually provide to the, the owner of the business. Okay. But still, if I'm able to make $450 when I'm sleeping on the weekend, on my days off, while I'm still working my nine to five, that is phenomenal money to me. I don't care who I'm talking to. I take that all day, 100%, okay? And if you're saying you wouldn't take that passively, then you shouldn't be in this group, straight up, all right? So with that being said, that is a short breakdown of how you would do the math if you were to go qualify a location, guys, okay? So if you guys need me to repeat this, go ahead and press the replay button or just watch the replay tomorrow morning. This is gonna be in the group permanently for 2022. So go ahead, invite your family and friends, let them know, hey, it's a great opportunity. It just makes sense. This dude, Paul, he's over there on camera acting a fool, but he's super cool. So at the end of the day, I mean, I think you should listen to him too, okay? So with that, make sure you guys take that notes. All right, let's move on to the next subject. All right, guys. All right. So let's talk about sales. Three methods of selling in the ATM business. This is some good stuff, guys. All right, excuse my language, good shit. All right, we're gonna be talking about cold calling. We're gonna be talking about my favorite, digital selling, okay? And then we're gonna be talking about in-person selling. What I used to do before I hopped in, hopped on the internet, Back in uh, the early 2020, I, I wasn't on social media for six years, guys. I'm telling you straight up right now. You try to look up uh, me on social media the past six years, nothing, right? Uh, so at the end of the day, I'm telling you right now, social media is changing things, but it's not changing everything, okay? So you still need some actual soft skills. And for the younger folks that's watching this and you're like, soft skills, what do you mean? I'm talking about you got to communicate, all right? This is a people-to-people -people business. At the end of the day, people buy from people who they like, okay? So if you if you don't know how to communicate, learn, because I guarantee you in a couple months, in six months, you dedicate yourself to this perishable skill of sales, all right? But selling in a specific way, it will change your life, all right? So let's go right here, guys. So three methods, all right? All right. So all right, let me make sure I spelled that right. Yeah, I did. All right, cool. So three methods. 